Hello, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a paw print pull apart cupcakes. It's actually quite easy to do and pull apart cupcakes are great because it has the look of a cake, but it's a lot easier than making a full cake. And you don't have to worry about cutting it up if you're having other people, they can just grab their cupcake and eat it. So each paw print requires seven cupcakes. And then I just used buttercream icing white and black and then oreos for the paw prints but you can definitely do whatever color that you want to do i designed this after my own cat's paw prints which he's a black and white cat but you could do brown orange any colors gray whatever color that you want to do so keep watching and i'll show you how to make these very easy pull apart cupcakes okay for one paw print it requires seven cupcakes so if you wanted to just make one you could use seven and if you want to make two, then it's 14. I'm going to make two. For pull apart cupcakes, you want to either get like a big piece of cardboard or a cake circle. What I want to do is I want to have two cake circles with each paw print on them. So you could do that, or you could use like a big piece of cardboard. You basically need something to put the pull apart cupcakes on. I like using the cake circles because sometimes I like to decorate the circle or put writing or something on it. So I like these and these that I'm using are just white 12 inch cake circles. This size was too small. So I'm using the 12 inch for each one. So basically you're gonna lay the cupcakes into, it kind of looks like a flower basically, but you're going to put three on the bottom. So you're gonna do three like this and then add the four around the edge. So it basically just looks like a flower. So I'm gonna start by laying the cupcakes out and once you put the icing on them, you don't really wanna move them around. So make sure they are on the cake circle or piece of cardboard where you want them. For me, I want to do some writing on the edge. So I'm going to do mine off center, off to the side on both of them, but it's totally up to you. You can do it right in the center, or if you had both on one thing, you could do one up and one down. It's totally just your preference and you can kind of play around with it until you have them where you want them. So now I'm going to get some white buttercream. I'm gonna mix that up and use that to spread over the entire seven cupcakes on each of the paws. Okay, I got my white buttercream. And I'm going to take a spoonful and put it on each cupcake, a generous amount. And then I'm going to use this offset spatula to spread it around. And then what I'm gonna do right away is take an Oreo, well, four Oreos, and split them apart. So I just have the top and put that in while the icing is, before the icing is hard. Okay, for the middle part, I'm going to take some more of my white buttercream and add some cocoa powder, some black food coloring, and a little bit more milk because adding the cocoa powder will make it thicker.
Okay, now I'm going to put this icing into a piping bag with just an open round tip. This is Wilton, Wilton 2A. And I always put my decorating bag in a cup. And fold it over and fill it up. And then I'm gonna go around, do the outline, and then fill it in, and then use my spatula again to smooth it all out. Okay, so it is that easy to make your paw print. You could use this for a cat or a dog. Mine is for my cat. But the last thing I'm gonna do is use some melting chocolate and write some words to add to the white space. Okay, so I'm just gonna use my melted candy melts, cut a tiny hole, and then on a piece of parchment paper, write out what I want to put on it. And then I just pop the candy melts in the fridge for a few minutes to harden. Okay, so they were in the fridge and you can just pop them right off the parchment paper. And I'm just gonna add a little bit of icing to the back of it, just leftover white buttercream that I had, and then stick it onto the cake board. The cake board is white, so the white buttercream works because then if you can see it a little bit, it blends in with the white background. Okay, so that is all you need to do to make some pull apart paw print cupcakes. They are great because it kind of has the look of a cake, but it's a lot easier. And you can just grab a cupcake when you want to eat one. So thank you so much for watching. I put up baking videos on Wednesdays and you can like this video. Let me know if you have any questions.